so close. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Ross Reviews and behind me we have got a built XR6. Not a turbo, just an XR6. But this thing has actually been to the drag strip. It's put a pretty healthy time down and I wanted to check this thing out. So we're out here in New South Wales and uh, we're gonna meet the owner, Brad. So Brad, mate. Thank you so much nah, for uh, bringing the car down. Yep. And um, this is your XR6, but you've done a lot more than just your typical Series 1 XR6. She's not just bolt-ons. So no. It's actually got a uh, built engine in it, so yep. running 12 to 1 compression, uh, LPI pistons, F6 Conrods, uh, built oil pump gears in it, sort of a little bit of headwork, nothing too extreme. Uh, what else we got? True track diff in the back. Uh, it's also on E85 now, so it made a little bit more power on E85, but, you know, yeah. there's still more to be had. There's, uh, there is future plans for cams and diff gears. I want to crack 12s. Yeah, yeah, so V8s. It, it's it's pretty impressive, though, because you were sending me the times that you were getting, like, a low 13s in this thing. So. Yeah, low 13s, yeah. Um, it's, back, it's backed it up a fair few times, like, yeah. and 215 kilowatts at the tyres, 600 newton metres, you know, 13.4 is where it's at on the track. Yeah, and I know just from personal experience that getting close to 13, like that's a pretty respectable time for even a V8. So yeah. NA6, like that, that's pretty good. I got VYSS at the time. What? Well, oh, this is a bit newer than that, but they were 14, yeah, three sort of yeah. thing. So yeah, so um, power of the barrow, mate. So uh, look, we're gonna jump in this thing. We'll explain it a little bit more and um, show you guys what this thing's all about. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, so guys, in the XR6 now, the built Barra NA, and um, yeah, Brad, this thing is uh, it's pretty cool, you know, it, it's it's a standard Aussie car, you know, it's an XR6, like we see these things all the time, but when you sent me you know, the time slip and I had just done the drags run myself and, you know, it was low 13 you managed to get. I was like, damn, that that's pretty impressive for a, a NA XR6, you know? Well, to be honest, there's not really a lot of money I've had to spend on it. Being a mechanic and all myself, a lot of the work's just sort of done by me. So, yeah, and working for Ford at the time, parts were cheap. Yeah. Like I'm talking LPI piston, I think it was 60 bucks. Yeah. Like. That's cheap, man. Like, to put a motor together for under five grand yep. is pretty good. It, it's decent. Yeah, impossible to do now. Definitely. <laughs> and not running a $2,000 turbo on it saved a bit of money too. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, again, because just to put it in perspective, guys, I was at the drags a couple of weeks ago with my friend. He's got an ISF. It's a V8 Lexus. And... It's, it's not stock either, you know, that, that thing's out of tune on it too, exhaust, you, you name it. And I was running, I had a bad night, I was doing 12 eights. he was doing sort of low 13s, and then old mate Brad's doing <laughs> low 13s in this thing, man, NA. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know? I'm also not a light fella either, like yeah. I'm, I'm not 60 <laughs> kilos, so. Yeah, but I mean, that's, it's pretty impressive, I think. And that just goes to show you what these inline six barrels can do, you know, a four liter, just Aussie engine, and um, yeah, even without a turbo, they're still pretty impressive. Well, the police pop the bonnet, they're not gonna know any different. They don't, no, you know, it, no. don't, it looks the same. It looks, yeah. apart from a set of extractors, I mean, yeah, for a, a 13 second car that is it's pretty much a sleeper and I'm still getting 600 Ks to a tank sort of thing, I mean, yeah. Can't complain. Can't complain. What it is, that's the what thing. In perspective, guys, like we always we show thousand plus horsepower cars all the time, but you know, I still like to get to the home roots of these things and like NA, I know a lot of you guys following have got an NA6 in your garage, and uh it's cool to show off something like this that with a little knowledge, a little hands-on in the shed, you anyway. can still make a quick car, man. This, this is that's quick. It'd be perfect car, to be honest. The turbo over overpowers the chassis for hill climbs. Yeah. So the NA, and I oh know I'm an NA fan. Like race cars, majority of race cars are NA. 
Yeah. Simply, they don't heat soak like turbo cars do. So, yeah. and through through the hill climbs and stuff True. like that, NA just work. Yeah. Like, you, you, it's predictable power. It is. Again, I think you were saying to me, you've done like 200 passes it's in the thing? probably done close to 200 <laughs> passes, yeah. And the, girl, the old girl's still going strong, man. Still going, yep. yeah. it's impressive, eh? That's the thing about a barrel, you know, they're just... Um, and you re, you done all the built motor around the 70,000 mark, didn't you? Yes, so and, actually, um, Yeah, we're about 123 now, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, 200 passes later. <laughs> and, <laughs> Can't complain. Yeah, that's why we love barrels, you know? And it, it's done fourth gear in the shed. Yeah, Maybe, uh, not skid. afraid, not afraid to do a shed skid. Oh, it loves it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Reset the draggy and good to go. No, no traction. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to try traction control. Good to go. Okay, we got a 6.8. Yeah, yeah. We can do better than that. <laughs> we can do a lot better yeah. than that. Yeah. 7. <laughs> 6.9. Ready? So close. What are to we the Six point one. It's a street car at the end of the day, and we're driving on probably the worst streets in Australia. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely got five seconds in it. it. This thing at the track could definitely be putting down somewhere in the fives, which what? is very healthy for NA. But yeah, yeah, you drop it in a second. You know, it goes, man. Um, it's hard to really pinpoint the difference. Like, I haven't driven a factory barrel for so long, so I always forget where it is. But yeah, well, that's you know true. I, mean? <laughs> I got the LPI, and I mean, the LPI is still not a slouch. So yeah, they actually weren't. They're always they're not terrible, but this. You notice this one, I feel like, in being an A form, is that it just it sort of has the revs all over the place. So, yes, yeah, you can be two, two and a half thousand and get into it, and it sort of starts picking up right away. There you go, yeah. And it just pulls pretty strong all the way up to, you know, five and a half, six thousand RPM here. I find its strong part is definitely 40 to 100, 80 to 100 sort of thing. Like, if you go now 80 to 100, like, leave it in performance mode, for example. Yeah, and go 80 to 100, the acceleration is just different. Yeah, we're going 80 now, and then... Traction light actually comes off for a minute. <laughs> yeah, it definitely... I've always said it too with the Barra, like, it loves the open road. Like, the faster you're going, the more it seems to actually be happy. Yeah, it's um, pretty true. Like, I get in this on the highway after driving the LPI or my other car, and you go to overtake someone and you just, as you do, put your foot down. You don't want to be on the wrong side of the road. You look down and go, oh, I can go to jail for that. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Like it, it comes I, a lot quicker than what you expect. Yes. Especially if you don't drive it for a period of time. Absolutely, man. And, uh, yeah, my F6 now, it's like, as soon as you hit boost, if you, have, if you go to the top of boost, doesn't yeah, matter no. what year you're in, man. It's you're like, breaking limits. You're, you're over the limit. Yeah, we're doing 40 here, and then... <laughs> yeah, lights up. Uh, it yeah. actually does light up. Doesn't which, matter, yeah. You know, considering it's it's not wet or anything, you know, you <laughs> usually think an NA Falcon's got to go out in the rain or something, you know, but yeah, it, um, yeah, it'll, it'll light them up, which is cool. Guys, that, that's the thing, you know, just these Falcons, they're just cool. The Aussie cars, you can work on them, you can keep them on the road. You know, this one's what, from 2008? 2009. 2009, yeah, Series sorry, 1. Yeah. Um, and it's still just 
loving it at the drag strip. 200 passes later, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and, it's, um, it's done its time out there, that's for sure. Yeah, spinning up the back wheels, just punching it at, you know, 50 k's an hour here. So, they're cool, man. And that is why it's such a shame we stopped making these things, we've gone away from it, we've gone to this woke garbage. Um, if you got a Falcon, again, hold on to it, fix it up. It's, uh... They're yeah, worth keeping. They are 100% worth keeping. And that is the actual true way to be green. So, because yeah. it is green. Yeah, don't listen to these blue haired <laughs> fairies that tell you to buy an EV. No. Keep the Falcon on the road. Keep the V8 on the road. That's the actual way. So, and when it comes down to it, driving will never get cheaper by kilometer ever. No. As soon as they realize they can tax you on this EV. Oh, they're already coming out with it. They are, definitely. Already. I've driven Kia EV6s and all that, and to be honest, they're quick. Don't get me wrong, they're, they're fast. Quick. There's just no soul. No, there's, there's no soul. There's no sound. No, there's, there's lack of noise, lack of engagement. It's like driving a washing machine on spin Yeah, yeah it's a fridge, man. It's <laughs> a fridge. <laughs> you know, yeah. You want to cook your steak in the microwave or the barbecue? Like, 100%. 100%. There's a, there's a big difference. One might cook it quicker, but there's a difference on taste, that. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like my petrol. Yeah. But yeah, guys, look, we're going to finish the video off here today. Just a cool car to come and check out, guys. XR6 NA Power, you know. It's an Aussie Country Falcon. And uh, Brad, you've done a great job. Yeah. So. No, no, Thanks for coming out, letting us have a go, showing it off. Oh, good. Um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. See you on the next one.